get into our first of our best of threes. Trot and Segway are champing in the bit and they're already getting started. Oh, that was quick, my bad. Oh, we've already got a Valorant ban off of Hegway and everything. Let me get to music, guys. Oh. And let's go back. Yeah, looking at this, honestly, I feel like Trot is kind of... Uh, this is not the sort of team Trot wants to face, from what I know of Trot, right? Like, he can trade well into this, but I know that he generally has problems with hyper-offensive. This is still kind of a mid-range comp, but it's much more aggressive than the stally sort of things that Trot really excels at taking on. Yeah, his Tortonite is in a really bad spot as well, and that yeah. doesn't help. Yeah. Um, that said, the Adora lead here could be very strong. He, he just <laughs> hard goes into Tort. That's a really good, that's a really good board for Tord as well. This one, yeah, but still roller and a fire for sure. Oh yeah, no, he has to be very careful about that, but if there's one thing I am confident in Trot doing, it's engineering a board state for Tort Knight to excel in. I mean, he will cage at the drop of a hat. He will cage just to get the confined buff. Mm, yep. And that's something that Hegway is going to have to constantly keep in the back of his head as he plays against Trot. Now, that said, we've seen Hegway do some absolute big brain stuff before. And if anyone's going to find a way around what Trot's doing, it's it's Hegway from what we've seen. Is this a Naga bender? Yeah, Naga is really good bend for him. Yeah, we see the roller bend, even if he has yep. Nukama. Naga and roller both make sense here. Um, I honestly don't even remember if Trot runs Decidora. I don't believe it is. Uh, with his team, uh, I could definitely more see a Decidora for Trot. <clears throat> but yeah, I still... Um, they could use Decidora, but I honestly don't remember if it is or not. Um, now, this said, this particular setup that he's got, I think, is the best possible thing into it, and banning the roller and ensuring that there's as few Earths as possible, like, he's done what he can to keep everything safe. I still think Firecoach was probably a better ban for him than right. Golder. Fulcrum of Hegway's team, but there's only so much that you can let through, and he's got a lot of Toxics that can still punish that, right? Yeah. I suppose what I'm really saying by that is, you know, Water Cannon, Adoro combos punish that. Because, I mean, but Adoro isn't a real Toxic and Nidrasil melts to fire Koish. But the sentiment's there. The, the thing is, yeah, Ukama, Adoro, and Nidrasil deals really well with uh, Rulder when fire Koish can still do damage into Nidrasil and um, Adoro pretty easily. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be interesting to see who winds up taking the upper hand here because, I mean, this isn't sparkles, sunshines, and rainbows for Hegway either. The Yukama is genuinely a frustrate for him, based on what we can see here, if he does not get a good matchup with Cernif with it. And Nidrasil eats Cernif. Just takes bites out of it. So if Trot can isolate and kill, or just keep off the board with Cage, these fire types, then he's in a very good position. Yeah. I would say, is it ever a toxic ink into mix to be able to like then cage and crystal spike it, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we see a double switch. I mean, one switch each side, sorry. Yep. Um, so the water cutting lily to eat... Ah, oh, no, that's just into the Adoro. I mean, okay then, that's... Yeah, Not much damage at all, but this is to be expected from a no attack investment in Doroboros. This is the challenge with the Doroboros' toxic coverage. But that poison take's still going to do something. Uh, the question is, can... Okay, we don't have any Synergy Master buffs for the Quetzalenyu here. So mm -hmm. if this is sufficiently defensive, Ador like uh, Nidrasil, then it may very well survive. It doesn't even go for that at all. It goes for the Hypnosis. Having scouted that Trot does not run E-Drink. Yeah, he definitely knows that. And uh, it's lovely because Trot said in the chat a bit earlier as well, he definitely needs to put Energy Drink back on the snake. 
Yeah, no, I don't know why he took it off the snake. Is he running like pillow instead or something like that? Good question. We actually never saw his item if I remember well. It could be Nidril Sill. We haven't seen the item, so it could be that. The challenge is we actually have not seen too many uh like Nagas against him, right? Like there's been a reasonable number this tournament, but he hasn't matched into too many. Oh he, no, double screen was the other one we saw, no, the plus five, yeah. Yeah. So honestly this still doesn't feel like a terrible scenario for Trot. Like he doesn't want to keep the Nidrasil in here at all. Definitely but, not. Um Chamomile Yukama is incredibly strong into this board. Which the, seems like once again a pretty telegraphed Hellfire. The real problem is he has no big switch for the double in. Water cutting Lily plus Hellfire, everything takes one it's, of it's those true. two hardly. If anyway, decides not to be greedy with the synergy master here, it's actually much better for him. We've seen him previously eschew keeping Cernif on the board, though, so we'll have to see what happens with that. The plus two special defense from the bush, though, is still really useful. It's going to be a pain for Trot unless he keeps uh, Nidrasil alive. So there's the there's Orin. Orin's in. Oh, he's still focused out there. Okay. That's curious, but okay. I mean, suffer not the rival Adoro to live, right? Ooh. Okay, so we do see the inner spirit go down onto the Drakash. This that isn't is going... Oh my god, it kills with the toxic proc! <laughs> I did not expect that! Drakash has such a high special defense. Yep. But, but still didn't with like it. it. Onto it alongside the poison tick, it did it. No, that, that's that's pretty astonishing. So now I suppose we've got. I I don't know how far behind that actually puts Hegway because he still has the fire quench, right? Yeah. But mm, the problem is he's losing answers for Nidrazil at the same time. Even if yeah, yeah you say it fire quench, but he has a lot of ways to deal with it. Yeah, no, it's very true. He's much more comfortable moving. He's much more comfortable dealing with the fire quench than he was with Drakash. And the fact that that is his only comfortable answer to Nidrasil at this point in time is a bit of a trouble. I mean, I suppose in a pinch, Mix can try. But Mix can't exist when Leonardo's on the field. And what's stopping Trot from caging here? Actually, no, you don't want to cage him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think like Trot, and that seems like the sort of question he'd ask there. Yeah, again, there's nothing really, really good. At some point, he needs to to tell himself, like, what am I dropping? I think caging is actually not bad, because you get the defense buff. Adoro is yeah. probably dying, and then yeah. you get the free entry. Buff and then, like, a sacrifice onto that, and then... Um, well, the problem is, what does Tort do after that? I suppose if you're letting the, sa the Tort... If you're letting the Adoro die, and you're sacking that or just letting it die, then I suppose you're bringing in Yukama again and using that to kill Fire Quench, right? Yeah. Problem is, but his switch. Sternleaf is still on the field. Ooh. He's not gonna like that neither. Oh, overexertion? Okay. So we see an overexertion for the water cutting lily, which is into the. Oh, man. Hegway has been whiffing these water cutting lilies a little bit. I mean, they've still whittled down Caliban, but this, this is not the sort of trades he wants to make with this Cernive. Nope. But he didn't like the Ketsan either on, uh, on the snake. No, no, he didn't. And he does cut. Well, I mean, yes and no. Like, Cernive has finally been taking damage, and honestly, if, if, it, if there's a couple more turns like this, it's still going to wind up working out. Yeah, from what we saw, one Ketsa is not killing this turn. Oh, and that's been red, and the Adoro is hitting the field. The nuke is on. And Cher Saga. Yeah, we finally saw a knit item. Ice Cube. Ah, there we are. It's true. That is Ice Cube, which has been really valuable here, actually. So the Rainbow Guard comes down from Splendens. Oh, you're quicker than me now. 
Which is quite nice, actually. Gets rid of the poison tick, and it also means he can't be caged. I don't think that uh, Koish really cares whether it's caged or not, but the Adoro still certainly cares. Yep. Uh, a double in of Imanip and Ketza kills the Nid, though, so that's a bit risky. Hmm... I think yeah, he needs... it's kind of tense here. Uh, now, oh boy, here's a thought. What about Grumper? Grumper yep. still is actually pretty okay with this field. Definitely. I still thought Cage was not that bad of an option, because Adoros then sucked in, and then you can just kill him. Eased by how few Cages we've but... seen. In, uh, is this really Trot? Uh, jokes aside, uh, it looks like he is trying to be strategic, so he doesn't just lose his Torp Knight to Firekoish. Mm -hmm. He's trying to make sure that that just doesn't run circles around him. Especially now, he has no more stamina, so that's probably just a switch for the Koish. And does nothing. I mean, he could overexert to get the Ketza. Yeah. That would have been nice here, actually, if he had the Tord on the board for this. But the problem is then Echidna just kind of dies, right? He needs the one turn to get his board state correct before he can properly do it. Also, yes, I remember the other reason why he has the Chamomile on the Yukama now. And it's because of Cage Tort. Yep. That's obviously why this is. With that, the tort does hit the board again, and this also is the board he wants to cage. Definitely a good board to cage now. Psychic collaborators coming down. It's coming down on Orin. Is it going to be enough? Because, no. I mean, this, this is a freight hard, train. But... Yeah. It is just not. Yeah. And now he has Aqua Whirlwind as well. That just yep. kills it. Honestly, he's better off if he doesn't kill the mix this turn. Mm. If he does anything to that mix, it's actually a really bad call. Uh, he's better off blizzarding the Adoro, because if the mix takes a whiff of damage, it goes into Puppet Master. But he can't blizzard Adoro. Energy manipulation will just kill it. This is true. This also means that he can just bring in the Grumper. Yep. Also, it means he can just swap... Uh, Yukama right now for Grumper if he wants. But yeah, no, he's Yukama, killing Mix. Like it's going down on Mix. Yep. Which and is still kill. just gonna straight up kill it, I guess. I mean, I guess you just kill the things that are threats. I suppose that actually makes sense. But Ooh. here comes the Inner Spirit, and I'm actually curious as to how much damage this is gonna wind up doing to Tort. Quite and a bit. It's pretty comfortable still, actually. But here comes the Fire Koish. This is one of the concerns. But at the same time, Ukama is still there. Yeah, no, Ukama's vibing. So uh, he's like wanting to bring Cernif, I suppose? Yep. Yeah, no, he <laughs> does bring the Cernif. Uh, I believe at this point Trot has uh, Garden up as well. Yeah, he can Garden up Adoroboros. Yeah, no, Adoro is a really good Garden target. And just Water Cannon. I mean, that's just never gonna go through because Water Cannon is quicker, but... You just do something or switch into Nidra's Electorate. It's a pretty good turn to switch yeah, him. Yeah, swap into Nid is a good one there. I'm still kind of concerned for Leonardo's safety, but I think it'll be fine. Oh. There's nothing that can hit it this turn. Yeah, no. It's actually meaningful. I don't see him dying this turn either. And if he's getting a garden off, then he gets back up to like a comfortable, what, 50%, something like that? Uh, I don't even actually remember with now synergy how much we exactly heal. Isn't it like eight percent? percent, yeah. I'm I'm just gonna double check that right now. No, I think you're right. It's eight percent with no synergy. It's actually ten percent. Oh, my bad. And it's twenty percent with synergy. So just a rivet. And yeah, honestly, this still works we'll out pretty see the well. Doom. Yes, uh, sir. Doom onto the Adoro basically seals its fate. I don't believe that Hegway has any way to get rid of that. And that animation is actually quite bog. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I love the... Well, I mean, Tukma is my favorite island. If... 
I, I, I do enjoy Torque Knight. It's a shame his other, t it's a shame his two other evolutions in the story have underwhelmed so many people to the Crystal Line, and that he's existed in two metas that have not been kind to him. True, but was he Panku? Let's see. Yeah, this is the thing. Also, like, give give him a toxic move that's not anti toxins. <laughs> Agreed. Maybe. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> okay, so the water cutting Lilings going down, and that honestly. Oh no, uh, really sorry, I thought that was going on for the nid. That could have potentially, like, gotten the nid into more of a kill zone. Wow, one gets her. Ooh. So close to kill it. Oh man, it can still just bush here though. Yeah. At the uh, mm. Right, so at this instance, what's stopping Brokeback from coming in on the Echidna spot? Really nothing, because he has to heal there. He needs to read where his gets are going. Sadly, he doesn't have a wind that would allow him to get the dust synergy off, because the dust synergy would seal the fate of that Cerny pretty effectively. For sure. I still think you want to try to Toxic Ink the, um, the Kosh with... with uh... <laughs> Definitely a good idea because and if switch. he's just gonna try to kill Leonardo, then you should punish him for it. The challenge is if it's just the Cerneve that lives, I mean, even at that minuscule amount of health, Brokeback doesn't want to come into that. Yeah, no. Actually, Marker and Sandals, I need to double there. This is still a hard okay, so spot. We do see uh, the Grumper come in now where it is potentially more valuable. We do see the Tortonite swap. Oh, it's a double switch. Yeah, because at this point, the Yukama is kind of worthless, right? For sure. I mean, actually, you can still get a move out <coughs> if you have right, Aqua Lovent. Yeah, I, I suppose. So the Hypnosis comes down. Very interesting. Goes into the Grumper spot. And it's Energy Drink Grumper? <laughs> yep, sir. Oh, my goodness. That is that. <laughs> So now he has a free aqua wall. Well, other bros is just gonna die there, I suppose, on the switch, but. Yeah, no, I mean, it could just be, like, you know, a quick suicide bomb for Adoro, but. Oh, this feels rough for Hagway. Hmm. I, I don't see how he comes back from this now, because, like, with both Grumper and. Uh, Yukama on the board, like technically he can water cutting Lily and water cannon here and it kinda works, but it also kinda doesn't, right? Oh, yeah, I think he really expected there to switch into other bros, that's why he switched it again. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, now the. Okay. Tr Thunder uh, strike. Tort does go down. Thunder strike. To the fish. Yes, okay. Well, this is harsh. This is really close. <laughs> um, now, the Adoroboros dies in the back, meaning that it's just Cerneef left against an Idrisil, which is exactly what Trot wanted. Yeah, because he can't kill it this turn. Yeah, this is GG. Well, um, well, I mean, not even both of these times, just Nidrasil this turn. Yeah, this is enough. Yeah, no, that energy drink was beautiful. And with this, we will see the first of our final games. Going to Trotter. GG. Ah, no, that, that was a really cool game. Uh, if I'm Hegway, I think that there is a rethink that needs to happen here, because I don't think you can let that Nidra still exist in uh, your comp again. Like, yes, you're really good into it, but it's also really good into elements of your comp that you need to kill things like that Yukama, right? Yeah, and imagine if he had banned, like, Fire Kosh instead of Roller. Oh, I mean, if Trotter yeah, had that... that, that... Really... Fire Kosh did so much more in there. If Trot bans Fire Kosh instead yep. this time, that's big. Let's go, they're directly in. Wow, yeah, no, they are not stopping. They, they're striking while the iron is no hot. No time. Yeah, no, they are thinking about their next bands. Pegway's definitely pausing here. 
Thank you for the follow, guys. It does wind up being the uh, Valorant again. And yeah, no, that's immediately Valorant. <laughs> Unsurprising from a from a Tortonite team. Definitely. And Nidrazil. And Okama. Yeah, no, and so many things there. <laughs> hate Valorant. It just melts to it. But yeah, Fire so Crush instantly picked. To get picked. It's vexing, but it's what it is. He, wow, just goes straight, um, Adoro Nidrasil into it. He wanna kill us. Yeah. He's basically saying, pick a neutral if you dare. I think he doesn't wanna see Cerneef neither. Yeah, no, that's definitely dissuading Cerneef because I think he definitely wants to ban that Cerneef. But isn't that like a complete free Drakash? Actually, hold on, yeah. Why would he want to ban the Cerneef? Mm. What, what was I just saying? No, no, no. That, I mean, his third for two first picks means that he just wants actually not to see Cerny, but at the same time, yeah, it's a free Drakash now. And welcome, Raiders. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome into the final. What can Drakash do into that? And also, yes, welcome, folks. Welcome uh, all seven of the people that have joined us from Hyperion Stream. You're here in the second and potentially last game of the le of the third Legacy Cup with a one million pan sun prize pool. So, turn one, he can still Tenderness the Nidrazil, doing lesser damage as well. This is true. Uh, I don't know if he actually runs Tenderness on his Drakash, but if he does, then that's an incredible tool for making his Cerny a bit more safe. He's picked the Nagais this time as well, so that's interesting. I mean, against Double Fire, I can definitely see that. Given that the Yukama was banned, yes. He's only answer to it, so yeah. So yeah, it looks like mix. this is looking like Tord again, unless I'm mistaken. I mean, Gallus is good here. I think Gallus is in a better spot, to be fair, but... I know Trot usually follows his heart with these things, so we'll see what he winds up picking. The thing is, if he has no synergy, you can even hook kick the Dragash before he does a move, and that's actually a lot of damage oh, yeah. into it, so... Oftentimes, you can just kick the Dragash to death. This is one of the reasons why I like double screen on Dragash, because it just makes it that much survival. Yeah, it looks like he's just picking the Gallus. A quick farewell, incidentally, to Jackson, who has to bounce before the last game, and thank you once again for watching this long. Thank you for being there, Jackson. I appreciate the help, mate. So, Let's go! Energy Manip still feels really good into this lineup. Like, I don't think he's going to be able to keep the Nidrasil on the board to get the synergy, but still good. As it stands, though, it's a full That's double so swap true. instead, as he just goes straight into the Psycho Lab combo. True. I mean, still some free damage, even if yeah, it's not a lot. Yeah, the uh, Toxic Ink getting it down to 66%, it's something, right? Um, honestly, I don't think Nidrasil is, ex it, like, it's not excessively threatened here. No. And that does mean you can start getting, like, Free allergic spread damage onto mix if that's the sort of thing that tickles your fancy i guess i mean putting him close to puppet master is always good because then you have a lot of ways to just kill it yep, this is very true uh if he gets it down into like 60 percent, that's really good for him later on because he's got the mud shower in the back he's got gallus obviously Ooh. there's a lot of things so we see the early cage come out from mix and it eats yeah they're all both oh, the double turns. switch! Ouch. Oh, this is big! I this really didn't expect that. Down. The double it switch takes hurts. Half of Adoro's health. Huge, huge turn for Hegua. It's another of those dream reads. I still wonder in what he would double switch Gallus to get the moves, but. It looks like it probably was like Grump or Gallus. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm assuming that it was going to be, right? If he, if he was swapping both. I don't really think that he needed to swap the Nidrasil, but if it was, then that's what it was. Yeah, bro. Oof, and and that talk about being hoisted by your own, own petard, though. That's a rough one. Yeah, this is definitely a rough turn for, for Trotter. Mm. Looking at this, though. Do we think Hegway is going to do the same trick twice? 
the thing is, that's the mind game. Now Trotter must be scared about it as well, losing every momentum. But if you cage, yeah, okay, he didn't. Yeah, no, I mean he's he's fine, just energy manipulating the Adoro. He's learned from the mistakes of Kulag here. Yeah, that's. But a he kill. loses his own in the process. Two two adorable little dragon babies die today. Overexert makes as well. Good to know. It's actually really important. Uh, this does mean that Nagais is able to get a Madness buff off, potentially. Uh, I mean, Cerny thinks it yeah. is, but Echidna is there and happy to Toxic Ink it. It's probably not enough to let Cerny get the Madness buff that it wants off, but mm. eh, he's still bringing it in. He could have bring Gyalis if he read it Cerny there, but... Yeah, instantly switch Dragash, unlock the moves. Oh no, okay. Okay, so we see the it's fire boy turns, and we do see the madness buff. That is a strange vest, no? <laughs> yeah, it has to be a strange vest to be staying in on this, right? I, yeah, for sure. I mean, otherwise it's just dead. Yeah, it had to have been. Yeah, definitely. Wait, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. It didn't... Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I saw the proc immediately there. Uh, so Tula, that, that's why Tula's alive. Otherwise, yeah, no, very dead. But now, he's in a good spot. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, the Fury here is going to absolutely slap. Uh, so would the Psy Surge, I believe. Hmm. Did we see Hegwe do a uh, Front Whip? No, we have not seen Hegwe use Front Whip. I suppose that is the question, because if he runs Front Whip... You just can't afford to stay there anyways. Yep. Well, gosh, if only there was a game recently where our frond whip decided basically the rest of the match. But at the same time, he has no good switch. If he frond whips Ketza into that spot, whatever comes doesn't like it. True. I think Gallus is just taking the L then. Uh, he doesn't wind up doing the double dub. Brings Mix in instead. It is better for eating the Toxic Ink, and it wound up being a Water Cannon instead without Synergy. Much easier for Gallus to eat. And quick apart, thank you for that copy pasta, Jay and Reiner. Yeah, no, that's actually really nice. Um, th thank you once again to everybody who's capable of making this possible. So there's this next Ooh. glorious cage. I'm not entirely uh, sure why a cage happened there. <laughs> Mix is dead now. It, this must be to set up a board for it to then kill everything next to it. That's the only thing I can think of, right? Like I need to press six there because I, I really don't. Yeah, no, it's to give Drakash the way to win. Like this kills both of these stems now thanks to Drakash. But this means that Drakash and Cerny for staring down, uh, actually kind of a good board for them. Cerny can potentially solo a uh, Grumper and a Nagais. Maybe not in his health. Also, oh no, it's the other one. No, Hegway. The thing is, yeah, he can just water cutting Lily. <clears throat> the the Gallus kill it and gets out a snake and just double kill. Are we kill. sure that the Gallus doesn't outspeed? It could outspeed, but I don't see killing a plus one with sharp steps, and it, there's no way he outspeeds with crystal bite or hook kick. So this never sharp stabs never kills at that point. Yeah, you're right. Sharp sharp stabs is very unlikely to kill. Uh, what about a no? The hook kick doesn't go before the water cutting lily. No, 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 never. Unless we saw this. Okay, we've seen this water cutting lily hit last very consistently uh i like i don't know the spread that glycoridia here is run uh, Gly glyricidia my, my goodness that's a mouthful uh is running <laughs> so yeah this is a kill okay yeah no that does go first and that is a dead gallus oh that would have been such a stonks um Drakash, though like that hellfire felt so free 
I still think at that spot and for Hegwin Nervoso, I 100% get that the snake. Because once done with the snake, then you have nothing to really kill the Cerneve. Playing with fire in more ways than one, but um, regardless, I feel like Trot's still kind of against the wall here, right? For sure. But let's say now the Nid wasn't a hypno. Um, I mean, no, and actually, it, no. Nid was just dead. Obviously, Trot's in yeah. an even worse spot, but he's still not necessarily feeling great here. No, I mean, if he get, if he got a chance to, like, Nid and uh, Nagais, then it would be a different story, but yeah. You know, it broke back in. This is kind of rough, but it does. He has no switch, so. Mud shower into. Your boy Fishy just expecting a swap in case or the, what? The hard wrist would switch Snidrazil into Nagais expecting a Ketza and Cernif attacking Grumper. But. So the bush happens. I'm gonna make Lyricidia more annoying for anything not named uh, Nidrasil to kill. In the meantime, we do see the Thunderstrike there. I was really hoping that was gonna be a mud shower because I was expecting this swap. Sadly, we see the Thunderstrike instead, and Drew yep. comes in for free. And now we get a rude Hellfire, potentially. And Although, honestly, it makes more sense if the Hellfire just happens anyways, and Glyrosidia just water colors. Water. Wuckles. Just say Wuckles. <laughs> <laughs> and Wuckles broke back into another dimension. <laughs> and for the chat, we don't know if he runs Psy Search, so. Yeah, this is the finals. This is potentially the last game. It looks like it's gonna go into one more than this, though, because Hegway definitely has this game by the short hairs. Yeah, I think he needed to try to switch the Nid into Naga last turn. Well, he's gonna do it this turn anyways. We'll see what comes of it. The Hellfire drops off, and it might actually, with the Strange Vest, be enough. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's so close! Not enough. enough. What, but now, that, that puts him up 67. The mud shower is good. Cerneve plus two special defense, and with so many health, like. I mean, he has. Oh, he can't even lullaby because of because <laughs> of trackage as well. Oh, more sentinels there. Yeah, that's excessively bad. Uh, if he's got Psy Surge, then this is still salvageable. It's not looking like he has Sicer. Oh, he's gonna much shower the Drakash to kill him. Okay, so we see Ooh. once again the Firecoish come out. On the non Hellfire turn, too. Very interesting. So the Drakash is down. Yes, sir. But now, what's stopping the Ketsa from just killing Nid? Oh, if it swaps into Drakaz, yeah, sorry, into Nagai's this turn, no. that's what kills that. I mean, yeah. Naga just uh, dies on whatever. Yeah, I think, like, Naga, look, if Naga just eats a hit, then, you know, it dies for the glory of the Empire. Oh. So the water cutting Lily is going to come down and is probably doubling into that. Oh, no, it goes into Brokeback, and he broke back just lives. He's going to be able to get off that Thunder Strike, hopefully. Die as a warrior. I hope he did it. Yes. Oh. Yeah, no. Brokeback isn't living that, but he certainly, you know, took one for the team there. I mean, can Nidrasil win the 1v1 there? It's rough, but Nidrasil's at a reasonable amount of HP. I don't see how it can't. Those poison ticks are going to clap. The thing is, it's it's 1-4 as well against uh, Cerniv, so... You're not wrong. Um, I think that the best way that you do this is you spores first, and then you toxic it. But no, Trot's just going straight into the tank. I mean, this is still winnable in my opinion. Yeah. If anything can eat Cerneve, it's Nidrasil. In my opinion, this is definitely so winnable for Cerny uh, for Nidrasil. Oh, he didn't tank here, and he's conserving his stamina. No. Oh well. He has enough stamina, I suppose. It is basically at full, and these tanks are still doing a very fair amount. 
is just can he keep up with this damage uh, with the revit uh, sort of. So now he has no heal for this turn. So this is another toxic ink putting him actually really low. And then he needs to yeah. read is it a bush or is it a revitalize? Because now his stamina is not like allowing him to do that mistake. If Let's I see. Trot, what I would do here. That is six percent. Six point six percent. Spores. Because that wins that that basically wins this for you. Yeah. Does he run? Oh yeah, he runs. We saw it. He rests instead, which is still like it's still reasonable. I think he's got this. But uh, oh, the thing is, now your share Bosch is there as well. It's a mind game now. Does he do it or not? All comes down to whether he bushes this turn and whether Trot sees it. I think that rivet the lies from him instead of bushing was really good. Yes. Here's the bush. Did Trot read it? Yes, sir. Yes! Okay. But now he has another rivet. This is such a nail biter. So he has two toxic ink turns now. And Cerniv has no stamina, so he can't even attack as well. No, uh, Cerniv has to rest, sadly. Oh uh, no, it can it, it's still got swipe ban. What am I talking about? I know uh, again, same thing. Yeah, no, the bush is gonna happen now. I think Hegwe can't take the risk to not bush. Yeah, he has to bush. Yeah. But I think you can safely... Yeah, this is where the spores comes in. Yes, sir. And then you can just tank. And now he can double ink, and I think that's just GG. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is definitely just GG, then. Yep. Oh, my goodness. This was the such... Come back. Finish. <laughs> but Trot takes it. With a narcoleptic hit just to style. Absolute legend. Congratulations, Well played. The third Legacy Cup. I think there's nothing to say then. GG, guys. Yeah, that was a snarl of a second game there. And Trot managed to take it out.